<laughs> it's pretty close. <laughs> I can see that chocolate chocolate button. You're doing a fantastic job. I can't believe it flies. You've only used a, a plastic bag and what, two sticks and some string? I know, but it's not doing very, very well. I think the children at home could do much, much better. The kites they made at school were amazing. Oh yes, I remember that now. All they needed was wind. I know, exactly. I think on a day like today, when it's really, really windy, the children in reception could make amazing kites. Yes, you're right. But now it is time for phonics. Oh, okay then. Yes, okay. See if you can get all of your things ready by the time I count to zero. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. When you send it flying up there, all at once you're lighter than air You can dance on the breeze over houses and trees With your fist holding tight to the string of your kite Oh, oh, oh everyone, let's go fly a kite up to the highest height let's Doing some phonics. Hello everyone and welcome to Chocolate Chocolate Button Teaches Phonics. Today we are going to start off by doing our handwriting warm-ups and we're going to start by doing the chair lift one. So put your arms by your side on the either side of your chair and then push up so that you can bring your bottom off the chair so your weight is right on your hands brilliant and then if you want to be even um, stronger if that's too easy for you you can try lifting your legs off as well okay and we're going to see if we can hold ourselves up for two seconds at a time okay ready so push one two and down and then push one two and down 
push, one, two, and down. And last one, push, one, two, and down. Whew. Oh my goodness. Okay, then we're going to raise our shoulders up to meet our ears and then release them. Okay, you ready? So we're going to go up, one, two, and release. I find it really difficult to show you this one because my shoulders are not very good and not very flexible. So all you're doing is lifting your shoulders. I have to raise my hands a bit as well, but you just lift your shoulders up so that your shoulders are touching or nearly touching the bottom of your ears. Okay, let's try again. One, two, and down. One, two, up. One, two, and down. One, two, up. One, two, and down. One, two, up. One, two, and down. One, two. Last one, up. One, two, and down. One, two. Well done. The next one we're going to do is our figure of eights. So make sure that your arms are going across your body when you're doing this one. So your, uh, your right arm is going across your body like that and your left arm is going across your body like that. Okay, while you're doing your figure eights. Lucy, can you just show us please? Yeah, sure. So it's gonna go across your body on a figure of eight action. That's on its side. That's it. And then with your left hand, figure of eight, going across on your right side so that our brain, the two different sides of our brain are beginning to be connected. That's it. And now put your arms out in front of you, turn them up this way. And first of all, you're going to make claws and release. And then you're going to bend them up and release and claws and release and bend them up and release and claws and release and bend them up and release and claws and release and bend them up and release and shake them all out my goodness me okay are you ready for some handwriting yes you are let's go right we're going to start off with an e so we're going to hold the pen correctly in a tripod grip and we're going to start on the line and go whoop back whoop whoop that's it Try to keep your pen on the page the whole time. That's it. And now we're going to do the letter I or L or T. So we're going to go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then we're going to do some whirly gigs. Whoop. And these go anti clockwise. And then today we're practicing the number four. So that looks like an L. So start at the top and then go across. And then take your pen off and draw it down. Okay, down, across to draw an L, and then take your pen off to go like that. Okay, now the reason we teach this type of four is because when children learn the other type of four, it often ends up looking like a nine. Okay, and when your, your teacher knows what you're, you're writing, when you get a new teacher, then they might think, oh, they've written nine when actually the answer's four. How strange, they got that wrong. I thought they could do that. And so you might find out that actually that they're reading it incorrectly. So this one, that although you might think looks more grown up, actually is more annoying later on for you because it means that your teacher thinks, oh, it looks like a nine. Because if you just do it really quickly, can you see it does end up looking like a nine. So we don't do that one at Ray Primary School. We do this number four because it's very clearly a number four and it's only a number four. There's no other way 
of thinking, oh, it could be a number six or something like that. It could be a number nine. It's definitely a number four. Okay, so that's why we do this type of four, because it just saves trouble later on. Okay, that's it. Wow, we whizzed through that, didn't we? My goodness. Okay, on to our handwriting pattern for the day, which is the letter N. Okay, as you know, the letter N makes the sound N with our lips open. N, not M, like the letter M, where our lips are closed. It's our lips are open. N. Okay, so we're going to start off by going up, down, up, across, and down. Up, down, up, across, and down. Now I notice that some of you are just doing this for an N. Now, unfortunately, that won't look like an N when you start joining up. So do please try and practice my way of doing the N, okay? So this is not the way to do it. I'm gonna cross that one out. We're gonna go up, down, up, across, and down. Up, down, up, across, and down. Do you want to show them with your left hand? Oh, sure. down, up, across, and down, up, down, up, across, and down, okay? So when it's on the line, this one sits on the line, and it goes up to halfway, okay? So there's halfway between the orange lines, so we're going to go up to that halfway line, up, down, up, across, and down, up, down, up, across, and down. And then with my left hand, you guys obviously stick to your dominant hand. This is just to help the children who are left-handed, or try to help them. There we go. And then to join it, it's nice and easy to join because you've got that flick and it just goes straight up into it again. So up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. And what I do is when I get to the bottom is I move my hand up along a bit. Up, down, up, move my hand. 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 Okay, can you see? And then it just makes it a bit easier to have your hand in the right place. Okay, I have to stop there because there's a hole in the way. There we go. Okay, let's have a go at a whole sheet of them. We are going to continue on with our break from tradition by going through our brown words first before our sounds so that they all link, it all links in nicely with each other. Okay, so here we go. See if you can say the sounds, not the sounds, sorry. See if you can say the word before I do. Don't forget our new words. Okay, see you soon. 
were. Come. She. From. Just. You. One. When or hen. Have. So. They. Went. That. Out. We. Said. Children. Do. Help. Like. Some. There. Be. Then. He. What. Me. It's. About. House. People. Little. That's it. Well done, everyone. That was brilliant. Bear brilliant. Ha 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 ha. Get it? Bear brilliant. And I'm a bear. <laughs> Amazing. Right. Okay. Let's get on with our next activity. See if you can say the sound before I do. Ing. Off. O. You. Ull. P. Oo. Or. Uh. Your or 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 w air s or the n
Ecke. Ah. O. 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 You. N. G. Ow. Ow. A. A. I. I. Y. E. Or I. E. F. Or E. E. Oi. Oi. And then today's ones, uh, uh, and uh. There are actually four ways of spelling the sound uh, and unfortunately there are no rules to help us remember which one is which. So we just have to remember, use our visual memory which means swapping in and out. So if we get it wrong, then it doesn't matter. We just swap in the next one, okay? So we have, we actually know three of the four ways of spelling or reading the sound er uh, so far. So we've got er, uh, as in mixer, er, uh, as in bird. That was our first one, wasn't it? The mixer in the bowl goes er, uh, er, uh, er, uh, er, uh, er. Uh. And then this one we learned at around Christmas time, didn't we? And it's er uh, as in bird. And then this one is er uh, as in fur. I've got fur, I've got fur. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so the, we've got three out of the four so far that we've learned. So we're going to read some words and see if we can sort them into their correct spelling pattern. Okay, are you ready? Great, because I am also ready. Okay, let's go. So we've got f, u, ow, er, fl, ow, flower, flower. Hmm. And it's got that o w sound that we were doing yesterday. Ow. So flower, and it's the type of flower that you might pick, but obviously we never pick flowers. Okay, there we go. Flower goes with the ER sound, because it's got ER on it. B, 
bird. Bird. Oh, there we go. Nice and easy. It goes in the IR one. We know how to spell bird now, don't we? We've learned so much about birds. Okay, next one. Fern. 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 Hmm. A fern is a type of plant. I've drawn a little picture for you there to help you remember. Um, and they kind of grow under trees in general, kind of in woods, that kind of place. And um, they're bushes rather than trees, ferns. Okay. And that's got an ER spelling, hasn't it? So that one's going to go in that pile there. So fern is spelled with an ER. Hmm. Let's see about this one. B burn, burn, burn. Hmm. Well, that's a U-R spelling, so that's going to go over there. How about this one? Let's see. We've got... Oh, that's better. Focus it in a bit more. B -bl -er. Blur. Blur. That's exactly what it was, wasn't it? It was all of a blur, so we couldn't see properly before. Sorry about that. So now we've got blur, all nicely clear, ironically. And blur means blurry, so you can't really see anything. So if I go really, really fast, you can't see me. Can you make yourself go blurry for a second? Look, just move your arms and really, really fast. And then your, your mum will come in and say, oh my goodness, you're all of a blur. <laughs> Okay, blur is spelled with a U-R, so that's going to go over there with the word burn. What have we got next? Herbs. 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 Ooh, herbs are things that we add to our food to make it taste nice. Herbs, uh, such as rosemary or basil. Right, herbs has got an E-R spelling, so that's going to go over there. Right, here we go. E -v -er. Ever. Ever. Oh my goodness. Forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. That's ever. And it's spelled with an E-R. So that's going to go in that pile. Gosh, the E-R is winning at the moment, isn't it? Let's see what's next. Hurt. <sighs> Hurt. Oh dear, I hope nobody's hurt. Hurt is spelled with a U-R spelling. So we've got burn and hurt. So that maybe could be a way of remembering them. I hurt myself when I burnt myself. Or something. It hurt when it burned. Sh -er -t shirt. Shirt. Oh. I put on my shirt this morning because I wanted to feel smart. Shirt. Now that's going to go in the IR spelling with the word bird. Oh my goodness, this is a big long one. Oh, it's got the oi sound in we looked at the other day. So we've got d, e, and together that makes d, the sound d. Because we know, remember that the e sound sometimes makes an e sound. So we're looking for d, s. Oi, this destroy, destroyer, destroyer. Oh my goodness, that sounds like the name of a starship in Star Wars, the destroyer. Oh my goodness, right, that's got an er for its er sound, so that's going to go in the er pile. Hmm, and this one. Aha! Look, there's me. There's a picture of me because. It says fur, fur, and I'm covered in fur. And look, there's the er sound for fur. It's got U-R. So if it's fur that I'm all covered in, it goes in this pile here. Oh, look, I can see why I drew the picture now, because the next one also says fur, fur. But this one's spelled with an I-R. So instead of being fur that I've got, it means the type of tree 
a fir tree. It's a type of evergreen tree, so it never loses its leaves, or not very much anyway. Fantastic. So that's a fir tree with an IR, and then fur as in all over my body is you are. Oh my goodness. Are you going to remember? Right, the next one. Oh, in fact, it's the last one. Sk -t -sk -t skirt. Ah, oh, yes. Sometimes I wear a skirt to school. Skirt. That is an IR sound, so it is going with the IR words. Wow, we. So can you see? There isn't really a rule that, that says you have to use a UR or an IR or an ER grapheme for the sound er. We just have to remember which one goes in which pile. Remember goes in this one as it ends in er. If it ends in er, it is often spelled with ER at the end, but not always, as you can see with fur and fur. Okay, so unfortunately there aren't really any rules, we just have to use our visual memory and get used to swapping them in. Okay, I'm going to show you what I mean. Right, I have written a sentence here and I'd like you to help me to edit it to make sure, edit it just means check it, to make sure that I've spelled everything correctly. Now, in it I have used the er sound, okay, and that's what I really want your help with today. So let's read the sentence together and see if we can spot the er sounds first of all. You might write, like to write it down as well and check your own sentence. Okay, so here we go. It says, I am giving the girl, girl, purple, purple flowers, flowers today. I am giving the girl purple flowers today. Yay, lucky girl. Okay, now let's underline the er sound in this sentence. I am giving the girl er. Uh, oh, there's an er sound there. So put the er, uh, underline the er sound. And then purple, there's another er. Uh, and then flowers. So there's three er uh sounds. Now, because I'm checking my work, I'm having a think and I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, hmm, is this the right type of er uh, that I need for this word? For the word girl, is this the er uh sound? Hmm, girl. No, I don't think it is. So, I think, hmm, that looks wrong. So all I do is think, okay, it's not ER. What else could it be? It could be IR or it could be UR. Let me see. Let's try UR and see if it looks any better. Okay, let's see. I'm actually going to write out the whole thing so that we can see again. Okay, so we've got girl, girl. Does that look better? Girl? Hmm. I don't think it does, you know. I still don't think it looks quite right. I think I'm going to use my purple pen and I'm going to write the word girl one more time, but this time with the only one we've got left, with the IR, and I'm going to see if that looks right for me. Okay, I'm going to do it underneath. G, er, ul, girl. Ah, oh, yes, that looks right to me. So I'm just going to cross out that one as well. It's no drama when we get it wrong, is it? We just swap it, swap in the right sound to see if we can get it right. So I am giving the girl. That's correct now. Purple. Hmm. I don't think it is I-R, and I don't think it's E-R either. I think it's U-R in purple. What do you think at home? You think U-R as well? Brilliant. Okay, let's try U-R. So let's cross out 
I R, and then let's write P U R P L E. Let's have a look. Purple. Yes, that looks much better now. I am giving the girl purple flowers. Hmm. Now I remember which one this one is because I remember earlier when we did, when we went through the sounds, flowers was in the E R column. So it must be spelled F L O W E R S. Flowers. Yes, that looks much better. So now it says, I am giving the girl purple flowers today. Okay? And it still makes sense, but now all of the words are spelled correctly now. And all we did was we just swapped in the different sounds that we knew for that sound, the different graphemes we knew for that sound, to see which one looked the best in the word. Okay? And that's all anyone really does, to be honest. I bet all your mums and, and everyone in your household does a bit of writing and then thinks, hmm, does that look right? Yes, I think it does look right. Or, mm, no, I don't think it does look right. Let me just swap in another grapheme for that sound and see if that works better. Okay, right, let's get on with our quick write. Are you ready? I've done a cheeky one today. They're not as easy as last times. Okay, bye. I forgot to say earlier that with your list of the different words for er, er and er, you could, if you wanted, go on a sound hunt. They're really, really fun. And what you do is you, you can either look around your house for things with the er sound in them and then work out how to spell them and ask for help if you want, or look in a dictionary or look them up on the internet and see how you could spell them, which er sound they use, or you can look in your reading books or any books that you've got around the house and see if you can spot the er uh sound and then copy them into your lists. So then you've got a huge long list of loads of different words and how to spell them. And all of them will have the er uh sound in. So you'll have your own little sort of secret dictionary, won't you? It'd be really cool. Anyway, that's uh, neither here nor there. We're going to do a quick right now. Um, Num. Have you got your whiteboard and your whiteboard pen ready? You do? Oh, amazing. Well done. Okay, let's get started then. Um, number one is the word toy. Toy. T-oy. Toy. Toy. Number two is the word coin. Coin. K oi n. Coin. Coin. Captain Chocolate Chocolate Button is obsessed with coins. One P, one P, the small bronze coin is a one P. That's it. Coin. Number three is the word about. 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 I read a story all about a bear yesterday. About. The next one, number four, is the word people. People. Ooh, can you remember how to spell people since yesterday? <gasps> Do you remember that funny old spelling? People. Do you remember? Oh. People. I'll be so impressed if you can remember, but don't worry if you can't. People. We'll do it most days this week, so we'll gradually get stuck in our heads. Right, the next one is the word fur. And I'm not talking about 
the type of tree, I am talking about the fur that's covering all over my body to keep me warm. Fur. So do you remember which column the word fur was in? Was it in that one, that one, or that one? Hmm. <sighs> See, this is a tricky sound, isn't it? Because there are just no rules. Fur. The next one is the word sir. Yes, sir. Left, 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 right, left, 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 right, left. Yes, sir. Sir. I'll give you a clue. It's the same er uh, as in bird. <laughs> Oh my goodness, in fact, the very next word is bird. 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 Don't worry about a thing Cause every little thing is gonna be alright Singing don't worry about a thing Cause every little thing is gonna be alright uh, chocolate chocolate button. Why are you singing that song? Oh, uh, because it's called Three Little Birds. It's by Bob Marley and it's a really good song. If you don't know it, definitely look it up. I did not do it any justice whatsoever just then. You should definitely, definitely, definitely listen to it. It's really good. Okay, the next one is the word mixer. Mixer. The mixer in the bowl goes ah uh, 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 ah. Uh. The mixer in the bowl goes ah uh, ah uh, ah, uh, mixing the food together. Okay, so which er uh, sound is in mixer? M i x er mixer. Four sounds, five letters. M i x er mixer. The next one is the word birthday. Birthday. B -er -f. With your tongue sticking out. B -er -f. D -a. B -er -f. D -a. Birthday. Oh my goodness, that's got the A sound in it and it's got the er uh sound in it. My goodness. Birthday. Birthday. Oh, do you remember when it was my birthday and I went to uh, Zelda and Eliza's house and we had a birthday party? That was so fun. I remember that really well. Gosh, that was fun. It feels like ages ago. It must be my birthday again soon, surely. I'm not sure about that job and button. I'm afraid they are only once a year, unless you're the queen. Oh dear, never mind. Right, the next one is the word burn. Burn. I touched something that was really hot, so then I got a burn. Burn. Which er uh, sound does burn use? Er, er, or er. Burn. The next one is the word flower. Flower. Not as in the stuff you use to bake cakes, but the type that you have a lovely smell and grow in the garden with Connie. Flower. Flower. Full owl er. Four sounds and six letters. Full owl er. Flower. 
Ooh, two things to remember there. Which owl sound and which er uh sound. Ooh. The next one is the word skirt. Skirt. I decided to wear my skirt to school instead of trousers today. Skirt. 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 The next one is shower, shower. I was playing in my mud kitchen, so then I needed a shower, shower. Sh, ow, er, shower. Only three sounds, but all of them are digraphs, so Six letters, three sounds. Sh, ow, er, uh, shower. The next one is the word shirt. Shirt. I wanted to look smart, so I put on my shirt. Shirt. Sh, er. Uh, Shirt. Again, two digraphs this time, so many more letters than there are sounds. Sh, uh, shirt. Oh my goodness, and the very last one is the word hurt. Hurt. I fell off my bicycle and I hurt my knee. Hurt. Hurt. Fantastic everyone, my goodness me that was a lot of writing. I think there was probably 15 words there, my goodness me. Okay well let's see how you got on remembering which er sound was supposed to be in each word. My goodness me, it's not an easy business, so well done and don't worry if you got them, even if you got them all wrong, the fact that you've tried your best is the most important thing. And also we're just learning, so it really doesn't matter. Mistakes make perfect. Practice makes perfect and mistakes also make perfect. Okay, let's see how we got on. For our last job today, we are going to try to write a sentence, okay? So have a go yourselves first and then you can have a go with me and Lucy in a minute. Um, okay, or I should say Lucy and me, of course. Oops, sorry. Okay, so the sentence is, the girl sees a bird in the tree. The girl sees a bird in the tree. Okay, so there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight words in that sentence, so you could use that to check. 
The girl sees a bird in the tree. Okay, so you're going to start off with V, T, H, V, oh, <laughs> sorry, whoops, a daisy, I'm just giving you the answers. The girl sees a bird in the the girl sees a bird in the tree. Okay, read yours through and check that that's what you've written down. Okay, and now Lucy, can you have a go and then we'll check all of ours by yours. Okay, sure, have a go. The girl sees a bird in the tree. Okay then, chocolate button, what am I doing first? Well, it's the start of a sentence, so you need a capital letter. Okay, here's my capital letter. T-H-E spells the... Right, and you're doing your best handwriting, aren't you, Lucy? Because it is really good to practice our best handwriting. Yes, I'm doing my best handwriting, okay? So we've got the... And then finger space, well done Lucy. Girl. G. Okay then chocolate button, which er uh sound is it for girl? Is it E-R, I-R or U-R? Hmm. I think it's I-R for girl. Okay, let's try that one. The girl. The girl. Hmm, does that look right? Yes, I think that does look right. I think we've got that one. So, the girl sees, so that's s e, and I think it's double E for this one, sees, the girl sees a, easy, and then we need a finger space again, bird. Bird. Okay, so we've got a b. Oh, b is a big belly. There we go. Well done. Uh, hmm. Which one is it? I think it's e r. Okay, let's have a go. Bird, and then a d at the end. So big derriere. The girl sees a b. Hmm. Actually, I've changed my mind. I don't think it is E-R, actually. That doesn't look right, does it? No, it doesn't look right. Hmm. Can we try a U-R instead? Yeah, sure. Let's try a U-R. Just rub that one out. Let's try a U-R and see how that goes. Hmm. No, I still don't think it's right. Let's try I-R. Okay, chocolate button, let's try I-R. Let's see if that makes sense now. See if it looks right. Yes, that's it. That says bird. Okay, the girl sees a bird in... Finger space, Lucy! Oh, sorry, sorry. In... The... T-H-E spells the... Don't let it trick you. The girl sees a bird in the tree. Shh. E. And don't forget your full stop, Lucy. Okay. Tree. That's not how you spell tree, Lucy. Are you sure? It sounds like it. Ch. R. E. Tree. No, Lucy. It's the. You spell tree. T R E E. Tree. Like that. Tree. Not tree. 
Oh, whoops. Silly Lucy. Okay, so we're going to do it. Oh yes, now that looks like the word tree. So now we've got the girl sees a bird in the tree. Full stop, full stop. Yes, fantastic. We start with a capital letter so we know it's a real sentence. Oh my goodness, how did you get on? Did you get something like this? I'll hold it up so you can just check. You saw, didn't you, how I wasn't sure that I had the right er uh sound, so I just swapped it until I felt sure that I had the right one. And the same with the word tree, actually. I wasn't sure, and then I just changed it, and then I was sure. The girl sees a bird in the tree. My goodness me, you have done brilliantly today. I hope you enjoyed that last activity. It's not easy, all this spelling malarkey, is it? Especially when there are no rules to follow or rules that are just broken every now and then. Oh dear. Right, well, I can't wait to see you tomorrow for some more phonics with chocolate chocolate button. Okay, so I will say goodbye then. Thank you so much for all of your hard work. I really am so happy with all of the work you're putting in. I really am so impressed. And I cannot wait to hopefully see you one day soon. Okay, until then, goodbye. See you tomorrow, bye. Elbow bump, elbow bump, elbow bump. Okay, bye. See you soon. Bye, bye.